everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how we made this creepy Halloween crypt for our front yard. To create this crypt, we are going to be using some pink insulation foam. It is actually the perfect material for this project because it is one, easy to cut, and two, it's actually really easy to get the texture and the different details that you're looking for. So to begin the structure, my husband built the walls and he cut out the front door. And I am just going to go ahead and attach this front wall using some glue, and then I'm going to secure it further using some screws and a screwdriver. And now that the front is attached to the rest of the structure, it is time to add in some details. So here I am just measuring out the width of the bricks I am going to use to make this look like it is built of stone. I'm using a level to make sure that it is nice and straight because although it's going to be creepy and have a lot of detail, it still needs to look like they're real bricks. Although this process does, does take a lot of time, it is definitely worth it in the end because you don't have to worry about one brick being larger than another. To make the indentation where the bricks are going to be, I am using a soldering iron. Um, I found that this was probably the easiest way to get this to happen. You can use a box cutter if you have one, or even the tip of a hot glue gun will help melt the surface of this foam. On the front of the structure I wanted a little bit more detail and I wanted to frame out the entryway so I am measuring the length of my level 
in order to get a smaller brick framing around the door. Once all the bricks were laid in, my husband took a box cutter and started making some deliberate cracking and distress on the building. And this is an essential part to making it look creepy, especially because it is going to be in a haunted graveyard. We really wanted to go with a creepier facade than just perfect bricks. I always find watching tasks like this and painting really relaxing, so I did keep quite a bit of this in here. Tell me down below if you are like me or if you think I should speed it up a little bit further to get this part done faster. Once we were happy with the cracks and the aging, it was time to go ahead and start our very first coat of paint. So I'm going to use some black spray paint to make sure that all of the crevices between all the bricks are coated as well as all of the cracks themselves. Just to make sure when we add in other colors, it shows all the pretty detail. Another cool thing about the spray paint is it actually adds another element of texture. The paint itself eats a little bit of the foam away and gives it kind of this, I don't know, bubbly beautifulness to each of the bricks. Once I made sure each of those cracks had a really good coat of black paint, I did go ahead and paint the rest of the wall itself just to make sure it had that cool bubbly texture as well.
to achieve the color of the brick that I was going for, I used this really light white gray and I'm just dry brushing it, or at least attempting to, over the bricks themselves. As you can see, it's allowing all of the detail from the mortar from the bricks as well as all the cracks to shine through as I paint over it. I did go ahead and with multiple other colors just to give it more dimension and more texture throughout the entire crypt. This process did take a little while to accomplish, however, I was so happy with the result. If you like videos like this and how-tos and DIYs, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for me so you don't miss on it, out on any of my future videos. I have tons of holiday content coming your way and my next video will actually be my Halloween house tour and I am so excited to show you how everything else has turned out and the final product. It was important that I made sure that there were some places that was a little bit more bare than some that were more covered. Following this step, I added in some sponge of a little bit darker gray as well as some spray paint of both a copper and a black shimmer. And this is what it turned out like in the end. My husband added some skull sconces as well as a decorative skull on top and I am just so happy with how this turned out. We are theming our entire front yard after a New Orleans voodoo, crypt, haunted graveyard kind of thing, and I'm just in love with this piece. Tell me down below, what are your plans for this Halloween?